on our Canadian rider. Today we're going to be doing a review and install of the T-Rex Racing Frame Sliders for the 899 Panigale. So why did I pick the T-Rex Racing Frame Sliders? Number one, they were cheaper than most of the competition. So Sato Racing and for some of the other brands, they were at least another $150 more expensive. This kit uh, in Canadian dollars after shipping and taxes came up to $330. So it's still expensive for, for some frame sliders, but believe it or not, it's $150 cheaper than some of the competition. And number two, it's a no cut installation, which is key for me. I didn't want to cut into my fairings and do anything like that. So I decided to go ahead with the T-Rex kit. So let's talk about the kit. You're gonna get two major pieces. The one piece you're gonna get is the clutch case frame slider. So this acts as a protector for the clutch case and acts as a frame slider on this side. And on the other side, you have more of a traditional frame slider. Both of them are made of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. It's a tough plastic. It's comparable to Delrin, which is often used in other frame sliders, but this is a material that's a little bit softer and tougher. Delrin's a little harder, but more brittle. So what does this mean? This means, let's say you're going down on a low side and let's say for an example, you had a cheaper aluminum um, based or billet based frame slider, it could impact and it won't break off or slowly grind. Instead, it's going to take the direct force to your frame on your bike, which could cause your frame to break. It could cause a lot of other shit to go wrong. So this is good that you have a material that's soft that will go down against the ground and start breaking down. But the brackets for this, which is really good, are made of aluminum. So that's going to be good. So you have great aluminum T6 brackets that are fitted. They're anodized in black. So you have that strength with the aluminum brackets, uh, but you have the softness that you need in the frame slider when it's coming on contact with the pavement. So the great thing about this material on the impact surface is that once it grinds down and let's say you get in a low side, you can just replace the puck. So you won't have to replace the entire kit. Your mounting brackets will still all be there and everything, but the piece that has broken down can be replaced, which is really good. Now, some of the problems I had with this kit, um, and these are the stupidest problems that can be avoided. For such a great product, it, it hurts to hamper a review, but I'm gonna say it annoyed the shit out of me, is number one, the instructions suck ass. Now I'm not a dumbass. I've done work on all my cars, my BMW, my Mustang, um, other bikes and everything like that. So I kind of know my way around, you know, a wrench, but I go to the other side of the bike with the clutch casing side. And so I had two problems. Problem number one is that the instructions didn't tell me shit really on how to install it. I actually had to use Sato Racing's instruction guide and installation guide on that side to kind of help me figure out where, like what bolts I'm supposed to be removing because in order to access some of the mounting points, you need to remove um, some covers and the fairing and some other bolts to gain access to some of the screws that you need to install this clutch case um, frame slider. So I actually had to use another company's instructions. And number two is that when I was going down into this installation this deep, I realized they didn't send me all the brackets. So I was missing about four of the spacers and I was missing one of the screws. So the first thing I did was contact T-Rex Racing. After a few discussions with them, they quickly shipped me another uh, set of the spacers for the clutch side frame slider and I was on my way. So, you know, it's disappointing that it wasn't packaged properly and it was disappointing that their instructions on the clutch case side were shitty and I had to use another menu, uh, another supplier's instructions, but I got it all done and they were helpful on with their customer service. So I can't complain any much more than that. It's good to have a company that will at least back up their product right away without giving you, you know, any discomfort or any displeasure in the process. So I'm happy with that. So as you can see, the frame sliders look pretty OEM, like they actually look make the bike look more badass. I think these are really good. Now the only thing I'd have to probably say is that they don't stick out as much as some of the other frame sliders that I've seen, but this is a good thing and it's, it's a bad thing. Will this protect my fairings? Yes. Um, is it gonna like completely protect my bike in the event of a low side? Probably not, but it'll probably deter a lot of damage and that's what I was looking for. So I'm happy with this. As you can see from the images, it looks pretty damn good. I think these are one of the better looking frame sliders for this bike and I'm really happy with the purchase. Um, T-Rex Racing, you know, there was a little hiccup with the process and their product, but they were able to rectify it right away. So I was happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this like a recommended buy. Everyone makes mistakes, but I don't think that should take away from the product. I really like the product and next time I look for frame sliders, I'm definitely gonna look at T-Rex again. So that was my review and install video of the T-Rex 
racing sliders for the Ducati 899 Panigale. If you like this video, please like it. If you dislike this video, please dislike it. Subscribe to my channel, guys. I cannot wait to keep giving you great videos. We're getting a lot of subscribers in. I see you guys are liking the videos, and you guys are commenting, and like asking me questions, and I love answering you guys, and I can't wait to make more. So if you have any suggestions, any more comments, please leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.